hello and welcome my name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint in this video I'm going to talk about the system requirement for Windows 11 whether a system meets the hardware requirement or not so let's get started okay so this is Microsoft website you can see here and if you just visit Microsoft website microsoft.com click on Windows and then click Windows 11 new Windows 11 right and this will take you to microsoft.com slash windows slash windows dash 11 now here is Windows 11 and this has lots of features and you will be able to download install Android applications apps finally on Microsoft Windows and there are so many features if you want to have a look at the features you will be also able to play games if you have Windows 11 installed on your PC so here we go get ready so what you need to do you simply need to go ahead and have a look at the minimum system requirements okay this is a minimum system requirement for Microsoft Windows 11 this is the processor type you need to have 64 bit processor 4 GB of RAM 64 GB of storage on the device UEFI or secure boot capable hardware motherboard TMP trusted platform module graphics card that support direct as 12 and WDDM you need to have display at least 9 inch with HD resolution at least 720p which is progressive internet connection and a Microsoft account this is minimum system requirement if you want to have a look at the features specific requirements so what does that mean that that means if you have certain hardware you will have that feature enabled on your system like if you don't have 5g modem capable device you won't have 5g support on your windows 11 hdr you need to have hdr monitor like right? hyper v requires processor with second level address translation which is also called slat and this is available on uh, windows 11 pro direct storage you need to have ssd at least one terabyte intelligent video conference you need to have a webcam camera microphone and a speaker multiple voice assistance assistant require microphone and speaker snap three column layout requires a screen of this is going to be uh, 1920 effective pixels or greater in width so these are few features that you definitely want to have a look and you also need to have feature specific hardware installed on your system okay so this is going to be huge upgrade basically so if your system is not up to date you won't be able to upgrade to windows 11 however you will keep getting your windows 10 upgrade updates so if you want to check you can simply go ahead if you want to check your current system whether it's capable of running windows 11 you can simply go ahead and download this app so i already have downloaded it let me go ahead and quickly see if i have it or I removed it oh here we have you see so what I'm going to do quickly remove it it's a very small app and show you how you can install it and run it on your system so simply go ahead and click on this uh, look for get ready you can simply visit this website and look for get ready yeah and you'll be here right simply click on download app and let it be downloaded you can see this is just 13 MB then just open it 
so basically you run it okay so locate your downloaded app which is windows pc health check setup so go ahead and click i accept the terms and license and then hit next and this is going to install in just a moment now i can go ahead and remove that and hit finish to open the pc health check app on my system so you can see it here it's a very simple application this is my my system and it has 8 gb of ram ssd 240 seven year old which is not compatible for windows 11 so simply go ahead and click on to check whether it's a compatible or not this pc is cannot run 11 while this pc doesn't meet the system requirement to run 11 you will keep getting windows 10 updates you can simply click on to run learn more about oh there's nothing okay this pc will not run so it's the same thing can i continue to use 11 uh, windows 10 yes and then what you need to do is simply i think uh, what i need is basically a graphics card and secure boot capable system a motherboard so that's all that's what is the requirement for windows 11 guys and it's a huge upgrade i think people will still use windows 10 and a lot of people will switch to linux all right so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching bye for now